Hello all, I am Shilpa Pimpalkar, working as assistant professor in the Department of Computer Engineering at AISMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. I welcome you all for the session of Database Management Systems. Today, we will see how to connect MongoDB using Java. I have created here project where I am connecting to Mongo client localhost. I have already installed MongoDB on my machine and this is MongoDB client version 4.41 and here I will show you databases which are which are already existing through DBS and if I use T I can write here db dot t dot show show collections and I can write here db dot user one dot find there are no documents present in this user one here we are going to create t1 and we are going to create collection user2 let's check whether t1 is there or not yes it is there so i'll write use t1 and i'll write here show collections to check how many already created collections are there user1 and user2 is there so if i execute this program it is giving me error that collection already exist so I need to change this to user 3. Let's check. See here user 1 and 2 is there. 3 is not there. So if I execute this. It is created successfully. You can check it. You can again write show collections. User 3 collection is created. So this is code where we are connecting to the client. We are using this T1. And we are creating a collection, whatever name you are specifying here. Right. So this is a sample code just to demonstrate how to use database and how to create collection under that. Now I am going to demonstrate you connectivity. As you can check here, I am going to connect using demo DB. So before discussing this, I want to show you one thing. When we have prerequisite for execution of this is one thing is you need to have MongoDB installed. You need to have some ID through which you can write a code here. I'm using Eclipse and I have MongoDB 4.4.1 installed. You need jar file for connectivity. If you right click on this, if you click on build path and configure build path, you can select this option add external jar. I have already added jar file mongo java driver 2.12.3 jar it is there in my machine at this particular path c user admin i have already added so no need to add it again that's why it is working so it is prerequisite you need to have jar file and you need to have mongodb installed on your machine as we have discussed in a previous sample code here i can use database demo db and I can get a collection user. Let's check demo DB is there or not. So if I write show DBS, demo DB is there. I can write demo DB. Be careful here. It is if capital, you need to use that particular case. I'll write here show collections. And our collection is user. So I'll write here db dot user dot find. You can find here there are names Anita Smita Smita and this comp one. Now I'm going to demonstrate you four crude functionalities create that is insert the document, read the document, update and delete the document. For inserting the document, I'm using this user collection dot insert. I need to build this particular document for inserting Nita and Comp1. As you can see here, Nita is not present. If I execute this, you'll find that Nita will get inserted. I'll comment other part of this particular code so that you'll understand how it is working. 
I'll execute this much part only so that you can see Nita is inserted in the database. Okay, so here insert is also commented, so it is not giving. I'll change this now, it will work. You can check with find as you can see here Nita is inserted as we have seen here uh, this particular name Nita is inserted now we'll see a remove operation with this uh, Java MongoDB connectivity so I need to specify here key value pair that is attribute value based on which I want to remove let's check what all names are there Anita is there so if I try to remove that so i'll make other part comment so that you can see how it works this is document with anita and i'll here insert some other name let's execute this you can check here with find query Anit e, Anita is removed and since we have insert operation executed Sarika is inserted so I have demonstrated you here with this particular step here we have seen insertion of Sarika and removal of this document next if specific record I want to retrieve this is for retrieval of data I need to specify if I want to display particular record I need to specify the name which I want to display so let's see here if I give Sarika it need to display it So here retrieval of the document based on this particular name. Actually here it is space. If you can see here there is a space so it is not displaying. Again I will save and I will It is showing me three records with Sarika. Let's check. Find here. There are three records. Since we have executed this multiple times, multiple entries are created. Now I'll show you retrieval with some other name which is present only once. That is Nita. I'll show you here if I change this to Nita. Again here for Nita space I have given so it is not retrieving. You can find here now Nita is displayed here. This is retrieval. I am retrieving and displaying. Next is for update. Now suppose I have document with Nita and new name I want to give as a Neha. Right. So we will check it here. There are records with Sarika Nita Smita. I want to change this Nita to Neha. So we'll execute this. Again, here I need to specify space. It is replaced. Neha is replaced. Next if I execute it again it is now not displaying this particular retrieval of record for Nita it is not at all there because we have removed previously it was showing because this particular module of retrieval is before update that's why it was displaying so we have discussed about how to create a, a collection how to insert document this is for insertion this part is for insertion 
how to remove how to retrieve the documents and how to update documents thank you